Ooh, it's time to meet Gravity's main dad. Anomaly detected. Oh. General distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. General distress. Fuck. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Registration BW4610034087. Impact and unscheduled suborbital deceleration recorded. General distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Registration BW4610034087. Scans have found something. That's Jacob's loyalty mission. Now we need to put on the perfect armor for that. Mm. What's the perfect armor? Oh, something glitchy. Does that not have a different color? Damn it. Damn it. Ah, Paladin. Of course, makes sense. I want my legs though. Yeah, that looks good. Both of them. Both of them. Which means so I feel like actually Miranda is the right choice for that. Hmm. Or oh, Fane. Or oh, Said. Damn. Good. Ah. Too late. Already made up my mind. We're gonna put points into slam, into shirtless plus 10, and we're done. Did I bring the fire flame for a thing? Ah, oh, Saeed's map does look better, Saeed's world from last episode. But I believe this is slightly longer. And I like the more action packed loyalty quests. I have so run a scan of the ship. Ones. I detect no life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. You just take off, ship. You just take off. Is that the loyalty outfit or is that the modded one? I never know. She has more armors than everybody. She has a it gigantic... Is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Oh, damn it, controller. I wanted a perfect picture of the lens flare. Yeah, perfect. Wanna get into the photo checkup? So you're sure of door. You're sure. <laughs> That's not the crouch button. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Oh, I brought the flame for Oopsie. Ah, uh, guess a few humans. Damn, gonna get burned. Yes, a few humans come Looks like it was there. stripped after the crash. They'd have tried Makes to get a beacon up as soon as possible. I would strip the ship for resources. God, I wish you could go in. Anymore. We've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as... Ah, oh, it's lewd. Get that. I won't explain it. Ah, oh, damn it. I could have just listened to something. You can't explore the ship too much. It's just logs. What? What was her name? Sarah? S Suzanne? My god, I can't remember. I can't remember her face. We need to get out. So I can remember. C can think straight. They have to hurry. Okay. All the logs. 
I feel like they could have built more up with this mission. That's Repeat. sure Toxology what I believe. Alert. Danger of rapid neuro From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. I hate to talk to AI bots, robots, whatever. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. Following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback, activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in Beacon Protocol is recorded as Record Deleted. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Short form, it's not smart brain food. Come on, let's get going. My I'm not here. A working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely. Unlikely. Okay. Let's get into the action. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gernsback? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Hostile! Oh. Why would I not save her? That seems effed up. Slam it. And pull Have in. A nice trip. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that wasn't a slam. Oh, many. This will put them down. Yeah. Oh boy. Poof. Oh, fulfilled. Oh, there's so many. Dropped them. One less. That Green wasn't mother. neural decay. They were feral. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay. There were many. Damn. This was a little hotel. Seems like a nice tropical paradise. We've built a nice hotel. Where you? Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. 
Is that a settlement? Pressure. They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Oh, he wears his face. Kept the woman. The guys became hunters. They're clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. Is this an earlier stage, or did the exile make the others violent? Why is everyone here female? Can't be a coincidence. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are cursed with his face. You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? What's that? Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. He has a cruel face. His <laughs> cruel face. Yeah, very cruel and ugly. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I'm a Jacob. Stand in that corner behind this wall here, please. Let me and Miranda handle this. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Oh, thank you. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. Yep, he got himself some female slaves. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. Oh, boy. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Oh boy, Jacob. Your family. It's weird. Someone is crawling over there. He goes. Weapons are forbidden. Oh, your cat now. Like that are a little much against this bunch. Well, that would make them hate him. But maybe it was just for defense. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right, Jacob. What's that book called? Please, here. You could end it. Lord of the Flies? Something like that. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. It help, mental help. Think on your own time. What's in there? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. It wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties, too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. 
and the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. Yep. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. I'm from Taylor. Oh, we start coming guards here and letting them worship us. Seems human. <laughs> oh, CC. CC. Battery, battery, and this and this. Yeah, he got power hungry a little bit. Oh boy. Are you all gonna look at it? We're cool, right? <laughs> oh. One day I got hit. God say damn, check up. it's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. Burn the bodies. The old corpse has been posed, like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Oh, oh boy. Please reconsider your Make activity. Uh, Why wow, the bots angry at us when he thinks that we come up, come here to save him? What is this thing? I can right hand thing. He had plenty of choices. A little late to blame his victims. Excuse me. Damn, damn, with this thing. On point, where's the Big Mac? Send it. I'm ready. Where? Damn. Can I please? No, I can't target that. No, I can. Charge him up! Belt up! One. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, everything. I could use some incendiary memory ammo. <laughs> Still more. Damn. Deploying tech overload. <laughs> I dropped you. Damn it. I got pulled. Man, mother. Let's all say it together. Whew. Say it again. Nope. Wrong one, check up. Fly! Oh no. Invisible wall. Oh. He had his fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Son of a <laughs> You don't like your grandparents, do you, Jacob? Wait, dude. Grandparents or grands? Grandpa and grandma. Oh. Sniping range. Oh no, mother! No assistance. Come on over! Target yeah. down! It took you a century, my guards. I'm afraid you'll have to fight them to rescue me. <laughs> Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. Oh. His guards, he says. I'm around. Oh no. This should scramble their systems. You didn't even hit one. No. 
Who even has those skills? Good job, Miranda. Having an off day? Trouble coming! I've got him! Maya. Oh boy, there's the technician. Have a nice trip. Oh man, Mala. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Damn it. Who are you calling toys? The Max or the woman? Playing checkup. Oh, is this? Oh, it's already over. Damn. Damn. Like I said, way too short. Way too short. Oh, I could have sworn we fired at least one or two mechs. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No, not Jacob. Why not me? Would 10 years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in... The effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, Oof. I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. Dinner for one. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. No questions about the woman? Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. 
But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can spare the ammo. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not taking the shot. My father owned his mistakes. He was a different man. A good man. Half charged. You've seen the crazy ones. This won't stop them. It's not for them, Dad. Oof. Oh. That's cold. Oof. That's cold. That's Renegade, though. Ending Jacob. A gun to off his own father. Or Jacob. More. We pretty much handed it to him, the idea. You've taken Jack with me. Damn it. Alliance ships are inbound to pick up survivors, Commander. We can be long gone by the time they get here. She would have loved it there. They get as much as a glimpse, and you're restricted to decaf. Great, may as well serve it in the airlock, you hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Oh. She looks weird in the transmission. Was this supposed to be a favor? Or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. I hate that not every mission, loyalty mission, has a meeting afterwards like that. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Like your father, right? Oh. Oh. That one looked badass. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. Come on. We've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Let's not make a habit of it. Unless you want to find your mother. You could visit her. I don't mind. Renegade for life. Just don't let her shoot herself. Ah, let's get rid of that flamethrower. Promises, promises. So, oh, I actually wanted to try you. Black Storm. Collect all the things. Anything else to say, boy? Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. We'll talk later. Commander. I don't think I've got him a mod for the secondary armor. I feel like he's just wearing a shirt. i put that on. Team status. Team status. Loyal. Suck appearance. I mean, that looks trash too. Does he run around in that on missions? It's kind of disappointing then. Yeah. Commander, can I help you with something? Yes, off with the shirt. Ah, uh, is that new? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. 
We'll talk later. Commander. Man, Shepard. Take that. The aura. Right there. Told you she can work in my private orders. Oh, okay. Back to the shirtless form. Let's see if someone else wants to dock. Maybe Saeed. Everybody just annoys me about the loyalty missions. Ah, maybe Kasumi too. Is she on this deck? No, she's not on this deck. This mission takes me back. Jack, Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. I didn't realize that Warzone has a Krogan DMZ update. Sounds cool as hell. Instead of zombies, at least. Would be badass. Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran what? up against the Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. Huh. He's on Jacob Taylor's dad's side. I feel like the next time I'm gonna play this, I need to bring Jack with me more often. That's a more interesting dynamic for Renegade, at least. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Could have brought Jack for that mission. Ah, she probably has a wall. just one line, and that's all. Oh, and she won't have anything to say right now because, well, ah, <sighs> she needs a loyalty mission done before she talks to us. You talk. I was just thinking about you. Oh, about Jacob. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Is it? <laughs> it's not. Uh, spared her of a wealthy life. Good girl. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. Really? Huh. Zaid's strolling around like he owns the place. But he seems a little confused. Twenty years of seeking revenge. And now it's over. I'm sure he would be a good captain for the suicide mission. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. She talks about loyalty missions. Just one line as though. Where I feel confused by my uploading schedule, it's confusing. We have Samara and the more loyalty mission will be done. Or Samara loyalty mission will be done later on. I'm still waiting on opinions from people. Who do you want? I hope we can go to Omega soon. Oh boy. I'll think about that. Of course. I can't have personal talks. They all want their loyalty mission done. Huh? And I don't want to betray her again, but I'm pretty sure there's more cool, more storyline stuff. Talk. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. This is exactly the same talk I had after that suicide mission. That's why I need to redo it now. This is my operation. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. I am in charge. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. 
be so vague about that. I don't even know if that's slightly evil or not. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus. Through my father's connections. I still didn't hear about why he's a bad man. His father. Didn't I just ask about the father? Mother. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Ah, uh, sometimes they just switch those options around to confuse you. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. That's all. Is there not something else here? Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. You don't mean it. Garrus doesn't Rupert, have anything new. Something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armor? Looks like Cerberus. Uh, I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Have you got any Stop idea? switching through the options. Weapons, heavy pistol. Ooh, damn. I need all of that. But he's gonna kick me out as soon as I do stuff. Okay. I will need to upgrade that. And do that immediately. Thank you. That's all. <laughs> no, no. We're gonna save everyone. Even Liara. Okay, how far are we into it? Not that far, right? 38 minutes. I guess it will be a short 40 minute update. Short 40 minute video. I'm thinking about doing check next. No messages for you, Commander. Oh, good. And I can upgrade actually everything right now and then hard save it. Chanka is something we need to do. Weapons, have a pistol. So be so overpowered. Armor, medical, tech damage, no. Prototypes, advanced. That's worthless. Or Krogan. I don't know if that's gonna help me with anything. Krogan Vitality or Krogan Squad members, all of them. There's so many and I never use them. Avalanche, that's... Big gun. I don't even know what that's used for, but I should have enough for everything. Oh, uh, no, no, no. There you go. Just for you, boy. Pants, nah, I don't need that. I have mods. Is that the stuff to get rid of my... Nah, I just bought it. Heavy ship. Yes. Multicore shielding. Oh, got it all. Morning. Ah, he wants his loyalty mission done. Everybody wants that done. Good. Good. Hot save. That's the... Pre-save or the after-save? The after-save. 
Afterlife, we gotta remember that. That's what we're gonna restart for the worst suicide mission ever. Who's that? Is that Kasumi that I can't use? Legion, damn it. I don't know, I guess they are I get replaced with Kasumi. Peace out.